Welcome to another episode of To The Prem with Great Yarmouth. We're kind of getting down to the business end of the season now. Look, we've only got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more games left of the season. And we normally need to get about three games in. So one, two, three, and maybe the last game we'll play four and extend that one a little bit more towards the end of the season. I don't know. I haven't decided what we'll do yet. Depends on how far we get through. I may do two for this one. Three for the next one and three for the after one. I don't know. May even leave the last one and then kind of do a season recap with Clacton as the last one. So I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. But hey, let's crack on with the episode. So we are sitting currently in fifth. We've had a loss 3-1 to Long Melford. We have, like I say, Swaffham, Threatford and Galston still to come in the next three games here. And we've got three players out injured. We've got Peg, um, Ben Jackson, who looks like he's going to be out for, well, six to eight days. So he should be back relatively soon. Excuse me. We've got Peggy Loco and Ryan. Should have just stayed on there because it did tell you there. So you've got, yeah, dead leg, torn calf muscle. Um, Lacandu's out for three months. So he's definitely not back for the season. Dislocated jaw for Ryan Whitehurst, who's up to four to five weeks. It's a shame because he hasn't, he hasn't really scored many goals recently. Um, let's see what happens really with him there. So, yeah, um, let's crack on. So, we've got the fans are less than happy with him since he signed. Well, I completely believe him. I think he's been one of our best players this season, so I don't understand why the fans are saying that. However, fans are entitled to their own opinion. They're not running the club. The chairman is. I was about to say I am, but that's really bad. So, there we go. So... I remember I did scout James Stevens. I've got the report back. Very consistent. I just want to like to see if he's um, interested in maybe moving to us because I'd like to see him playing for us next season. I think that might be a, he'd be a, definitely a good signing for us for next season if we can get hold of him. Um, but hey ho, we'll see what happens with that. So we're going to keep going. We've got Swaffham, Swaffham next to a tenth. Threatford to a 13th, so I'm hoping we can do pretty well with that. Um, looks like we're going to be in the top half of the table, top end of the table. I'm pleased with that. That's what we should. That's where we should be. Next season, definitely though, we need to improve the squad or improve some areas of the squad. I think so. Uh, definitely central midfield. I want to improve. Defence. I want to look at improving. Goalkeeper. Oh, I think my goalkeeper's played pretty well. I think. Um, since we brought him in the experience he may stay and especially uh, we may get some other players in around them who knows we still need to get ahead of youth development in that hopefully will come in this episode uh, when we get the, uh, the the feedback from if anyone does want to join uh, if not it doesn't look like we'll be getting any youth prospects and to be fair we would have probably got them in by now so yeah I don't know what's happening at the moment but there we go if we don't get any youth prospects, that wouldn't be too sad, but it would have been nice to see if we've got any youth prospects that I can maybe bled for the first team for next season. Ah, talk of the devil, look what we've got. So... Um, the under 18s managers obviously said this. Uh, so, Zach Hull is apparently supposed to be quite good. Doesn't look too bad. Um, not going to attend the game, but we can have a look at some of the prospects. So, he doesn't look too bad. And again, it's really hard to judge, really. Um, without really looking at all the players individually, let's have let's let's do that. Let's go to the youth candidates team and have a look. So, this is our goalkeeper candidate. We've got him. Not too bad. Mm. Zach Hole. Peter Bird. Don't like the look of Peter Bird. Mm, neither do I do like Ridian. Oh, he doesn't look too bad for a defender actually. Oh, he looks someone I could probably put in the first team straight away. Oh, where do we get to? So we've got to Benson. No. 
Potter. Again, no. Finn Day. Not really. Andy Burns. John Hayes. Only one person for me really looks exciting. Um, do I look at Jack Butcher? No, Jack Butcher doesn't look too bad either. He doesn't look too bad for when he's got a bit of pace. That's not too bad, actually. Um, he could be quite a good one for next year. And Dan Jones. We haven't really got any strikers. But if, if one's to highlight, it's definitely Emka and Owen, who I think maybe go straight into the first team for me next year. So we'll see what happens. You've can the game as well. So game day today, we've got Swaffham. And let's see how we do. So we've got the injury, which we know about. I'll pop in there. I think we may have to go back to the under-23s to bring up. Um, Joseph to put in the maybe shouldn't have put him down didn't realise we didn't have any other defenders we could put him in there so there we go we'll keep that line um, shall we keep that line up no I'll tell you what we're going to drop Joel for this game we're going to put Ray Ford in and see how Ray Ford does with Malcolm So here we go for the Swaffham Great Yarmouth game. We are away from home. I've made one change. I've put a drop Joel to the bench to see if we can maybe score some goals. Again, that's where we are lacking this season. And here we go. 37 seconds into it, we've given them a goal kick. And they've gone out and attack. And great save by Wilson. Yeah, I agree with the commentary there. That should have been a goal. Sloppy play in the midfield there. We should really should have picked the ball up. Great ball there. And uh, puts us 1-0 up after a bit of sloppy play in the midfield there. We've got a bit of an injury to Wayne Clark. So it looks like at half-time... We'll make the substitution for him, and Jordan Sidhu will take his place. We are one nil up. We should make it. We should concede. Well, put more effort into it, um, and consolidate it, and get a bit better outcome. Injury to Sam Hayes. So what I'll do, I'll do that, but swap those two over because I know that Beckett can play there. This isn't good if we're getting injuries right towards the end of the season. I know we've bul uh, bulked up the team a little bit, but we need to not keep the injuries. Uh, lucky 1 0 win there, I think. Um, but yeah, nice victory. Just keep the morale high. Phoenix they got a 1-0 win against Fakenham. So he's out for three or four months. Four to five weeks. So it looks like we're getting an injury table here. So let's have a look. I could just sign the recommended players and we get a youth team in. Yeah, let's you know what, let's get a youth team in. There we go. We sign the recommend youth players. At least then we can dip and dip into there and use them if we need to. Um definitely happy about that. 
and definitely happy about where is he don't tell me we didn't sign it there we go yeah this one here as well so we've got two decent players there I think hopefully will be I can utilize and may even try and utilize them now if I can but it gives our under 18s manager something to, to create on now Ah, so we've got some average youth development. So if we are looking at the role, it's working with youngsters, but the potential is not what I'm looking for. Again, double four and two, 18, five and four. So he may be the leading candidate. So yeah, it looks like Greg Spat is the leading candidate, and I think that's who we're going to go with for the moment. 43 and he will take that contract so there we go that is the head of youth we'll look at it looks like we're gonna have to do a bit of um, tweaking on the tactics again because of the injuries but we are picking up quite a few injuries now it is getting towards the tail end of the season so doesn't surprise me a lot of these players have played pretty much every single game. And Ben Jackson has been told he can play. So that is good for us. But let's just um, clear the lineup. It's always best to do a fresh. I feel anyway. So we've got Phil in. So Nelly. Midfield. Yeah, I'm definitely putting Ben Jackson. He needs to play for me. Blackett, he's too important to miss. So Mr. Brown gets a shot back in. Harry Knock is back with Tola. My wingers now, because we've got that injury, I'm going to put in three. Oh, mind you, one of them is a striker. And I'm still up front. Malcolm with Ray. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to put Ray. I'm going to put in Joel again. See if Joel will be all right with this. So there we go. So jury. Eddie Hutchinson. Pop him down with Ray Ford up front. So there we go. Yeah, a couple of players are lacking match fitness, that's fine. I'm going to say we should go out there and win with no problem. And there we go. So it does look like it's raining at Threatford. And here we go for the first half. Oh, got a bit of a let off there. Kind of going to give him a bit of a confidence boost. You know what I'm saying? We're doing all right. The result will come. I'm just saying you can make the difference. Picked up an injury in midfield, so I'll bring on Eddie Hutchinson. Okay, um, there we go. Tell me he has a difference. Ten minutes left to play. Again, another injury picking up. That's not good for us. 
and a nil nil draw with Threatford. <coughs> Not very happy with that. We should have won that. And OMG, look at that result there. Felix Stowe have lost their first game against sixth placed Malden Hall, who are level in points with us, but we're there by goal difference. Ouch, that's got to hurt for them. Pretty much going the whole season without losing. And then they have gone and lost their first game away from home against Malden Hall. That's got to hurt. <laughs> That has got to hurt. He's out for two for three weeks. No interest in joining us or no interest in loan. It's a shame. However, how long has he got left? He, His contract is until 30th of June. So we may be able to get him on a free at the end of this if they don't keep him on. Here's hoping. If we maybe got promoted, he may have been someone I could probably easily get. But hey-ho. And we've got the, and I think that's the, the, yeah, there we go. So we've got the full report on him. It's not bad player. Can't offer him a contract just yet, but hey-ho. Keep going. We've got Galston next in the East Counties Premier Division. They're 16th. Threatford were 12th, and we got a nil-nil with them. Do you know what? He is wanting to go. If I reject the offer, he probably won't be happy with it. So, do you know what? I'll accept the offer. Because I know he'll be wanting to go. Shame they're not off getting any value for it, but hey-ho. We've got our head of youth development, so that's good. We've got a staff member back in. All in all, he may not go, but we'll see what happens. It's only because I know he said he wasn't very happy, so I thought I'd play him more. However, a team is coming for him, and I am happy to let him go. No, 16 year olds picked up an injury, that's fine. Galston have played in midweek, so that's not too bad. It means that they might be tied for this game, which will give us a bit of a, an edge. So yeah, he's happy to go. Let's just say goodbye to him. Um, fantastic club. He goes, yeah, thanks, no worries. So he goes off. I think it's probably best. He's not been the greatest players for us, but... So he's gone on a free. Shame, I mean. He wasn't a bad player, but hey ho. Oh, he was vice captain, so yeah, let's put Eddie Hutchinson in. <coughs> Give him the captain's armband. So we're gonna have to rejig a couple of players, so Ford will come in. That's the poacher. It does mean we are light on the attack, so we will go to Yao and bring him in. He hasn't really featured for me this season, but hey, he's back. Yeah, we'll slot into the thing there, and uh, yeah, I think we'll keep that. Oh yeah, we've got an injury there. Hutchinson will come on, and there we go. So, I 
let's see how we get on. So look at that. I mean, how not played 40 games? Probably the one player to feature regularly for me. Played, in fact, probably played every single game. And uh, behind them is Anelli and uh, Jackson, who have, I've had injuries or suspension to keep them out of the game. So here we go onto the field. Oh, the crowd is looking very less there, but hopefully we can build on that for next year, get promoted, and look to build for the future. And I'm hoping that we can rely on their midweek game <coughs> because they may be tired, that we might be able to capitalise on that and, and get a good result here. That sloppy dip for midfield there by Hutchinson, but good pick up by Nock. Poor pass by Nock. Oh, off the post. Tack kind of just fizzles out there. Great tackle there. Look at knock off there. Knock. Bringing the ball into. Oh, off the post again. I would say a great ball, but there was no one there. So that we can keep going and win this one. But I think next season definitely need to improve in the midfield area. Defence isn't too bad. Yeah, okay, we keep we you know we've lost some big games, but I think our main area is I think our defence isn't too bad. It's just the 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 midfield and the strikers, especially the lack of goals the second part of the season. I thought we might have been doing all right. The, the second, the, if we had the goal, the, the goal scorers, but I mean, we keep losing the odd one nil here and there, and that that's not acceptable. So a 0-0 result again, the strikers really weren't on form, no goal scored, not much more we can really do but that was against 16th place, Goulston who probably were a little bit tired, yeah, so guys we are going to leave it there for this episode, just head over there, so we've held up for a draw and um, how did the team at the top do? Felix Stowe, I can't see them. Where are Felix Stowe? Oh, maybe they didn't. Oh, they did. They had a 4 0 win. That's a great way to come back after a uh, loss. So uh, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. If you haven't already, like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and we'll see you in the next episode.